in the first uh, part of this session we saw how to add a csv uh, config to our uh, test so i have added the csv one and uh, i have put the name as pets.csv and we uh, added pets.csv over here pets.csv is our file it contains a uh, range of data like cats and dogs only i have added right now to test so now let's see uh, how to add the further thing so we parameterize this as the category id uh, so this category id will be used in the further uh, tests now here in this one we have category id so here we now add a listener save response to a file so that we we will come to know what we are getting in the response when we pass cats as here uh, cats in this one so once we get to know what we are getting in the response we will set our regular expression to that value i will show you how to set the regular expression uh, and that we will be setting it over here in this request now let's run our uh, test and see what we are getting in the response okay so oh sorry i forgot to give the file name prefix test file Let's clear it and run it once again. Okay, there we have it. Test file one. So if you open this, oh sorry, if you have to open this with a word pad, yeah, it's opening with a word pad. now here uh, what did we pass uh, in uh, the request we passed cats let's see uh, what we passed cats so we should have a feline see so we get this in the response this is our item id based on our category id it populates the item id category id is nothing but a product id now we set a regular expression which will extract this item id and it will feed it to our next request so let's do that for that what do we do just a minute we add a regular exp expression extractor to this request how do we add that add post processor and regular expression extractor this is our regular expression extractor we will name it something regex1 then here we need to provide a regular expression so how do you provide a regular expression we uh, if you go back to the response file we saw that we have to identify the left and right boundary of this okay in this response we have got it over here so uh, this is our value so what do we have in the response so this is our response so product id equal to is our left boundary and then we put a bracket dot indicates a single character star indicates any number of characters zero or more characters and question mark indic indicates the end of the string so this is our regular expression 
which comes between the left boundary that is the product id equal to and our right boundary that is the quotation mark so we complete so i will tell you in short this is our left boundary and this is our right boundary so extract whatever comes between the left boundary and right boundary and send it into the further request so that's what we are doing here let's put the reference name as reg x reg x okay and this we will be using in the further request so instead of this now what we will be doing we will be putting this value reg x apart from our regular expression we need to add the template and the match number the template is dollar 1 dollar dollar 1 dollar is uh, the first one the first record we will get on the response we will extract that record and uh, put it in the variable and the match number indicates that we will be putting the first match so that uh, this is how you fill up the regular expression now we will proceed ahead with the running of this so what all things we have done i will summarize uh, we had this response we parameterized it uh, request we parameterized this request we send in the category id we, we are taking this category id from the csv file the csv file parameter corresponds to that category id then uh, when we are sending the request we are saving the response from that request into a file and we have put a regular expression extracted to this uh, so that it will extract the item id so how it will extract the item id we found the regular expression for that from this response this response and then we put dollar 1 dollar so that it will extract the first value and we put this reference name as regex regex which which is getting used in the next request so this is how we parameterize it now we will check our results what we are getting first we will check the first we will check the test file the csv file where did we put it okay this is our csv file pets we just have two values in that okay cats and dogs so we can do it for two iterations and let's check first we'll do it for one iteration if if that works out we'll do it for two iterations there you go everything is passing we clear the results and we increase the thread count instead of increasing the thread count let's increase the loop count and check okay okay so uh if you notice here let me show you here category id cats now in the next request you will see 
category id birds in the next request <coughs> birds again and in the next request birds again let's clear our results let's increase the thread groups and check it let's see if we want to do it for five users and we keep the loop count as one so that it will take various values from the csv file okay now we, we have already cleared the results so here let's check what we are getting in the response we get cats then we get cats again here we are getting okay what we will do is we will check the request first and then we will check the response Okay, to view this as an HTML, we we'll change this to this one. Okay, so now it will be pretty clear for you. See, the first request we are getting, uh, it's uh, actually this is the first page. The second page is also the same. Third page, fourth page, fifth page. Okay, so this is our first uh, cats page. where we have passed cats as a parameter and we are getting persian and persian and manx uh, in the uh, on the response then we have passed dogs this these all values are coming from the csv file bulldog so again we get uh, the main page then again we get dogs again we get cats here we get persian so th this is how it is iterating with cats and dogs see this one so it is pulling in dynamic values that's the main advantage of using correlation see cats dogs if you want to test with few for few uh, further values then we can just change this we can add birds over here and let's see what we get birds and uh, fish we can also add reptiles okay so now we close this file so first is the cats then dogs birds fish and reptiles cats dogs bird fish and reptiles okay now let's go back here clear our results and check our thread group first yes okay so we have five data five sets of data in the test file we run it
let's check here we are getting the main page here we get i uh, see here we, we are getting a birds cats birds cats birds dogs fish and again we get cats here we get a birds this has failed for some reason again we get fish then we get a this is the next page where we are adding to the cart okay so why did it not take the reptiles value okay anyway this is how you uh, do dynamic parameterization this is nothing but correlation so if you have any questions related to this you can just send me a note you can post your comment and thank you very much for watching this video